that was one of the most intense nemesis battles I've ever had um, for the final for the final node of the uh, nemesis survival dungeon. They have made it tougher and tougher each time, and I got so lucky, so close. My Zyron had 400 health, and I lost all of my stamina going to the last battle. They got supered by Cryotan in one of the other uh, battles. But I have this diamond relic chest. I have the master path, uh, master pass chop chest, and then a couple more chests. I'm gonna open them on screen um, so that you guys get to see what kind of cool things are in them. Um, and then the last thing, well, I've been waiting for this. The final, nem or final nemesis. The final war master is finally on Turinga. The magic war master. We're going to talk about his skills, what he brings to the table. We don't know his trait. We don't know what some of his skills even mean because one of them's new. And then uh, we'll, we'll discuss that further on. So let's just open the, the ones that I'm sure you guys even care about. Uh, do you care about any of these? No, 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 no. Do you care about golden relics? I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping for, I'd be happy with an, another Ingvar's banner. I love a tenacity shield. I'd be happy with um, the, the, any of the new ones um, that come from, I think they can come from Battlegrounds, but I think there's like a low percentage to you get them in uh, any of the other chests. Uh, so let's, let's uh, see what's in these overlords chests and then steps if these are nothing, right? Oh, okay. Well, this is there. What do we got here? A bronze relic chest, really? Okay. Don't care about those. The first overlord is just a level six. No, 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 no. What's this one? Level eight. I'll take that. And then what is this one? I think this one's got like 120 cells in it or something like that. Oh, it's got Fear AL in it. Oh, okay. So that's cool. Two level five to ten. I don't know what this was even from. I don't even know why I still have these. Of course, I mean, why would I have a good luck in these? Oh, yeah, of course. Two, five, and a six. Whatever. Um, and then I have... This one can have something good in it, I think. Uh, this is one of the rare ones from the... Um, monster wood stuff oh for the the soul huggers uh stuff make sure that you go into the maze and do the first four nodes i think it's the first four nodes for both bull ray and the other epic or rare uh that's where you're going to find a couple extra tokens make sure you do those so that you have a chance to get soul hugger right when it starts master of path what is this oh okay so this one's got some cool stuff in it it's got the three three chests that if you were able to get i did spend i think like 15 bucks on the um, the couple that were there. Okay, so this was the the second best one. A couple level sevens. I'm happy about that. Uh, and you guys don't care about any of those. I don't, I don't actually know what's in these. Four runes. It's in this one. It's in level four. So this one's probably level fives then, huh? Oh, level sixes. Okay. So what can we get from this? God, I'd be happy with tenacity, Ingvar, and really, I just. I have them all, I think, at this point. I just, please don't give me the Tunes Armor and please don't give me the Strand Sword. I think anything else I won't be upset about. Just, please, be be gentle with me, social form. Okay, I mean, I'm, I don't hate it. Uh, I think I have four of them. Let me look real quick. Let me double check. Yeah. I got a couple of these. So that's really all I have about in-game stuff. Let's talk about this new War Master. Uh, I, what is the name of this one again? Sherzar Sh sacrificed himself at the final battle of War Masters against the Titans. Um, has resurrected has changed. Okay, so these skills. These ones don't matter. These are the tier ones. Don't worry about any of those tier twos. Remove negative status effects from one ally, give an extra turn to itself. I like this. This could be really great if it's um, a zero cooldown or a zero stamina cost. That would be fantastic. Um, but it has so many skills that uh, we, we don't know what, where they're going to be. But this is a new one right here. Deals moderate magic damage to all enemies, applies curse to all enemies. Now that's a new, I don't know if it's the DOT, I don't know if it's a control skill, I don't know if it's going to block positive status effects, something like that. Um, I, I, it's really different. We'll, we'll have to wait for that one. I don't know if it's on Turinga or on the forms or anything or what this is yet. 
activates all cooldowns on one enemy. There's a better skill than that, don't worry. Um, this one's not too great. M heavy magic damage to all enemies applies curse to all enemies. Um, so that's an under level 100 skill. That's fantastic. Removes all the effects from all. That doesn't make sense. Remove all the effects from all of the monsters. Gives one extra turn to itself. Is that positive and negative on both allies and enemies? That doesn't make sense. Tier 4. So I don't know if these are in order. Uh, this might be the level 105 skill. Negative status effects from one ally applies a random positive set. That's a terrible 105 skill if that's what that is. Um, activates all cooldowns on enemies. That's fantastic. But Zyron. No, Zyron doesn't have that. Uh, it's, it has the exhaustion and stuff and something like this. It kind of depends on what kind of relics this thing can hold too. Um, deactivates cooldowns on all allies. That's pretty good. And then if this is the 120 skill, that kind of sucks because this is a fant I, this is a fantastic skill in my opinion. Low magic damage on enemies, a random torture skill, a random control skill, and a random positive stats effect to want to all allies. All allies. So it's going to control all enemies, give them a DOT, and then give a positive stat effect to all allies. So that can be, you know, healing or stamina regeneration, or uh, I don't, I think a shield might be one of the possibilities. I'm not quite sure. And the super, remove negative stat effects from all allies, gives 100% of life and stamina to all allies. Remove positive stat effects from all enemies, moderate magic damage to all enemies, and deactivates cooldowns on all allies. There's a lot to talk about. Um, Again, the only skill, I mean, the control skill is fantastic, but this is probably a 120 skill. So, if that is the case, I don't think that this will be the best, you know, general 100 to 105 legend uh, or the War Masters. I think Thalso would probably take the best control um, and the best to have on your team is probably, in my opinion, still Elvira. I love my Necro, but I think Elvira is just, it provides so many more things that you can do with your, with your game on PvP and offense on defense it's very scary to see um so i guess we'll kind of wait for this one to come out on monster wiki again it's probably two weeks to get away before it comes out in the dungeons because we had zara or not zara remtar like two weeks ago so the the rotating them every month um so that's so that's interesting it's got a couple extra turn skills so that's fantastic but these are the skills thus far they are subject to change we don't know the trade yet we don't know what the stats are wait for those Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.